Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. I'm your host, Seishu, and today I'm speaking with Ariel Donison, a photographer, a wedding photographer based in Boston. And if you take a look at her website, your jaw will drop like mine did. Ariel, you do beautiful work. Thank you, Seishu. Thank Thank, you. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Ariel is also an Inspire Photo Retreats presenter, and we're going to talk very briefly about her her presentation, <laughs> perhaps also what she's going to be talking about uh, and what, why it's probably important for you to be there. Um, Ariel, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> Ariel, Ariel, you know, one of the things that struck me right off the bat is the way you light uh, or use light, natural light, you know, and you're a film photographer, um, yes. right? Analog um, film, yeah. Analog film. And it's, it's you know, I tell you, it, it is where you learn photography. You know, in my opinion, if you don't know how to shoot film, you don't really know how to shoot, to be honest with you. That's Thank how, you. That's how I look at it. Um, and I come from a, I mean, it sounds a little snooty to say that, you know, I'll admit it. Uh, but I think when it comes down to it, if you can wrestle with film and, and get it to look the way it should look, uh, you're going to make amazing images, even in digital, I believe. So I think so, too. I think that film is an incredible tool, and I am a film evangelist, and I'm very excited to share some of my knowledge with the Inspire attendees this year. Excellent. Yeah. Now, you know, Inspire is coming up in February 2015. I'm excited to be there. What excited you about the event in the first place, and then why did you apply to be a presenter? Well, I went very briefly last year. I, I have a one-year-old, and last year he was, um, I guess in February, he was like seven months old. Yeah. So I wasn't able to go to the whole conference, but I went to a few events, and I just thought I could, like I got a great feeling from it, and I really wanted to be a part of it. And I thought that there was like such a great uh, uh, um uh, list of presenters and topics being covered, but I noticed that no one was talking about film, and that's my wheelhouse. And I was like, "There is a hole here." Mm -hmm. I, I have been experiencing lately a higher volume of inquiries from other photographers wanting to learn about film. And when I look at, you know, what what different actions and presets are being made now, film emulation is like mm -hmm. everywhere. And Absolutely. I just figured that there were probably people out there that were, you know, curious, intimidated, or just um, wanted to get back to their film roots. And I think that it's a great time to do so. Film is not dead, as our friend John Canlis would say. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and, Absolutely. Um, I, uh, I'm just really excited about, about presenting this year and, and sharing my love of film. Excellent. Now, you, how long have you shot film? Have you always shot film? Have you do you do you when work I, with digital at all, or is it just... I do work with some digital. Okay. I I personally find that once the light gets low yeah. at the reception, I just personally prefer the look of film. I think it's easier to shoot, and I uh, or sorry, uh, digital when the light gets low. I prefer digital. And sorry, baby was up at five today. Um, <laughs> I. Uh, I, I do shoot digital when the light gets low and that's when I'll work more with off camera lighting oh, okay. and, um, and that's when the, you know, film and digital matching is so nice just so that you can have a nice consistent look throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I do shoot some digital and my background is originally in film, you know, as a hobbyist, I was shooting film. My dad's main hobby growing up was film photography. So I was around lots of Nikon SLRs mm -hmm. and, um, then when I got started as uh, you know as a professional photographer, I was shooting with digital SLRs until a couple of years ago when I just found that the work that I was being attracted to was uh, was film, and that's when I decided to, you know, I, I felt like I all the things all, every time I was really attracted to an image, I would kind of research the photographer, research the photo, just really study it, and I kept finding that they were film images and I had a, a wow. kind of a come to Jesus moment with myself where I was like okay what is it about these images that I love it's film why am I not shooting this and I kind of went through all the things that I think a lot of people experience when they think about shooting film for for paid work right you know a lot of fear a lot of uh anxiety <laughs> and that's when I decided to um to double down on film and just really commit to learning it 
and uh, experimenting and then eventually becoming comfortable enough and fluent enough in it to take it to my paid work and I haven't looked back. I am looking at your uh, gallery right now under artists. Oh, that's actually mostly digital work. Is it? I have to be okay. honest. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's mostly okay. But the way you light it, I mean, Thanks, yeah. I, I, you know, gives that sensibility that you know what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that that comes from a from a lighting background, you know. Yes, um, yes. And I think that, you know, one of the things that I want to talk about in the presentation at the class this year is is just, you know, everyone's using now like a lot of film emulation and yes. a great photo is a great photo. Great light is great light. And if you take a mediocre or bad photo and like, you know, just apply a ton of film actions or presets on it is not going to make it a big, a great photo. But if you take like a beautifully lit photo and apply a preset to it, you can get a cool look <laughs> that looks something like film. Indeed. But uh, yeah, as you say, like it's all about the light. And, uh, and that's something that we'll talk about because film does react a little bit differently to light. And I, I agree with you that once you understand well how to use light, available and off camera in film shooting, then it gives you an edge in digital shooting. That is cool. <laughs> there's, there's one thing that John Candless mentioned when I talked to him uh, recently about why film? And I said, hey, why do you, I mean, why do you bother with film? And he, yeah. and, and he said this very important thing and it stuck, struck, with, struck a chord with me is that with film, you're more, you, you tend to be more present. Yes, exactly. With your clients. Yeah. Than if you were shooting digital, because yeah. you're more tempted to look at the back of the camera exactly. every single time, right? Exactly. Uh, do you feel that way? Do you I feel totally like feel that way? I yeah. totally feel that way. It's funny because um, I'm one of those photographers that when I am shooting digitally, I really have to stop myself from chimping because uh -huh. I'm like, oh, I know that was so good. I can't wait to see it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, oh yeah. I have to wait. I have to wait. I have to stay present. Right. And so when uh, when I'm shooting film, you know, I use a light meter so yep. I use my light meter get my settings and then I'm shooting and I'm totally present with them there's nothing between me the cam well, I guess the camera but there's nothing stopping me from being completely present with them and uh, you know with with digital I I do find that there's a temptation to want to chimp and look at that mm -hmm. that gorgeous little little screen back there yeah, indeed. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Ariel. My pleasure. My I, pleasure. I look, Thanks so much I for look forward to your you. I look forward to your presentation at Inspire in 2015. Hey. Uh, it's going to be an amazing presentation, no doubt Thank about you. it. Um, everybody, uh, I will have your website listed underneath and uh, any other links you'd like. So we'll talk that about that. Good. Great. Offline. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. Take care. Thanks. Bye. Bye. See you in 2015. Bye. 2015. <laughs>